So, you're feeling ungrounded, huh? <laughs> I can't think of why. Such a great time to be alive. What a beautiful moment in human's history. It's all sunshine and roses. Maybe you need to try to smile some more. Okay? Uh, have you thought about yoga? Okay. Or, uh, you know, maybe you need to just have some gratitude. Take into consideration, you know, that there are, like, starving children that, uh, you know, uh, just, they, they would, like, dream of having your anxiety. Okay? <laughs> I kid, I kid. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dale. Um, today we're going to be talking about grounding techniques. So yeah, if you're uh, finding yourself uh, putting your keys in your freezer or uh, doing things and then having no memory of doing those things or waking up with mysterious bruises on your body, you're not alone. It's normal in times of stress to dissociate and definitely for me that's like one of my has been one of my main coping skills throughout my life to deal with things that have felt uncertain or scary or whatever um, but I'm trying to learn some like better coping mechanisms um, not that dissociation is all bad like I think to some degree it's good to honor the coping mechanisms that you use and for me dissociation has protected me in a lot of ways and taken care of me so I think that's something good to keep in mind if you are experiencing dissociation or you have in the past that it's not bad that you did that your body was probably doing a pretty great job of protecting you um, but if you're an adult like me once we get into adulthood sometimes it's like even when we are safe we still are using these these coping mechanisms which keeps our body in I think it's a sympathetic nervous system and we want to be in the parasympathetic Ugh. I'll look into this and I'll make sure that I'm right <laughs> saying that. but basically it's like you're in a kind of stressed out state even when you're technically safe um, and that's can be hard on your body so it's good to like try to bring yourself back bring yourself back into the moment get grounded and uh, that's what we're gonna talk about today I'm gonna share my I'm gonna share the 10 things that I typically use um, there's actually it's kind of infinite grounding techniques like there's so many different ways you can do it so these are just 10 that I use and they might not work for you they kind of it's pretty I think it's one of those things that like for some people certain things work and totally don't work for others, you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. So before I get started, I want to read what grounding, what, what is a grounding technique? You know, keep in mind that I'm like not a, I'm not a therapist. I'm just giving you, sharing you stuff that I've been learning through my own recovery process. And it's definitely a good idea to, I mean, get a therapist if that's something accessible to you. Um, or just, you know, check things out for yourself. Um, you don't need to take my word for it. Um, but yeah, so according to verywellmind.com, grounding is a particular type of coping strategy that is designed to ground you in or immediately connect you with the present moment. Because of its focus on being present in the moment, grounding can be considered a variant of mindfulness. It can also be a method of distraction to get you out of your head and away from upsetting thoughts, memories, or feelings. How grounding works. Grounding techniques often use the five senses, sound, touch, smell, taste, and sight, to immediately connect you with the here and now. One thing I wanted to mention too is that some of these things too can possibly be triggering. So it's good to sort of like inch your way into them or just feel them out and if you notice yourself just feeling like mm, I don't like how this feels or I just don't feel like I want to do this 
then back off and do something differently. I always think about, do you know Yoga with Adrienne? She always says, find what feels good. So I, just, I always try to keep that in mind when I'm doing these self-care kind of things. Um, you know, you don't need to punish yourself. This isn't, it shouldn't hurt, it shouldn't feel bad. So, you know, if it doesn't feel great, then back off, try something different. So yeah, just have as much compassion for yourself as you can. I think you're doing great. Okay, so the first one is probably the one I use the most, and that is simply taking a conscious breath. It's good to feel the sensation of the air going in and try to have a lo as long out breath as possible and feel that out breath going out. Cool. I also like trying to breathe into my back or my stomach. That's sort of like, I think it's better not to breathe into your chest. I think that maybe activates more your sympathetic or whatever, the one, you know, the fight or flighty one. Um, so it's more calming to breathe sort of into your back or into your stomach. Number two, light a little candle. So aromatherapy is a great grounding technique because it when you're smelling something, you're using your physical senses. So it's kind of, it brings you back in the body through, through the old nose. So, you know, when I'm watching one of my favorite shows, I like to, <laughs> let me try that again. This stick was unnecessarily long. So I like to light a little candle in here. I've got uh, sugar and spice by Yankee candle. Dang. Tip number three, five, four, three, two, one. So this tip, um, this is like a popular thing done in therapy from what I understand. Like I learned it in therapy and I've heard of other people learning in therapy as well. There's a few different ways to do it um, and they all work great, I'm sure. Um, but I'll show you the way that I know how to do it. It's a bit different than some of the other ways I've heard. So first you do Five, so five things that you can see, five things that you can hear, and five things that you can touch. And then you do four things that you can see, four things that you can hear, and four things that you can touch, and then three things you can see, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until at the end you just do one thing you see, one thing you hear, and one thing you can touch. Um, if for you, some of your senses aren't necessarily, you know, you have like limited sight or hearing or something like that, you can elimin eliminate one of those and then just do the ones that work for you. Five things I can see. Um, the camera, there's a light. This, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think of this new? I got this sheet that I wanna, I want, I've wanted a leopard couch forever. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this, it's kind of weird. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here, but okay. I'm seeing a notebook. I see a pen, so that's five things. Five things I hear. I hear like a sort of electrical noise from the house. I can hear the rain outside. I can hear a car. I hear another car. And I hear my voice. Five things I can feel. I can feel my butt on the couch. I can feel the texture of my sweater. I can feel air going through my nose. I can feel the vibration in my throat of my voice when I talk. And I can feel my skin on my skin. I think that was five. So then we do four things and you're allowed to repeat. So I can, for my four things I can see, I can go, I see the camera, I see a different light over there. And I guess I'll stop, I'll stop there. Um, but you get the idea. And then by the end, you just, you're doing one, there's one thing. So it's like, I see the camera, I hear my own voice, I feel my butt on the couch. And by the, it kind of takes a long time, but like, honestly, at the beginning it always feels stupid but by the end I always feel like a different person to be honest. Okay number four ice cubes. We're gonna do an ice cube <laughs> in the mouth. <laughs> One sec.
That was a hard reach because I'm still, I'm mic'd up. <laughs> okay. Got an ice cube tray here. It says fresh baby. Like me. This technique is especially great if you're like having a panic attack or something like quite serious because it's so shocking to the system that like for me anyway, when I do it, it's like really brings me back really quick. Um, so this is like a great emergency type <laughs> uh, technique, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, it's hard to be thinking about anything but having ice in your mouth and when you've got ice in your mouth. Quite simple. You just uh, put a hoop in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, when it's in there even holding it in my hands, even if you don't like having it in your mouth, you could just put it in your hands too. Even just having it in my hands like so cold that I'm like having a hard time focusing on talking to you because I fall out. <laughs> this is just an ice situation. It was kind of fun too, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, 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 mm. -hmm. All right, <laughs> that's ice. Did you know what ice was? Here you go. If you were wondering what ice looks like, it roughly looks like this. Tip number five, yoga. I like to put on a TV show I like, and I just, I don't even stress it. Like I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I'm just trying to move my body. Cause when I'm really dissociated, I find my, my body tends to freeze. I don't really move my body very much. And so just the act of like stretching in any kind of way actually sort of just like pulls me out of that freaked out state. Number six, hug a tree. I feel like I talk about hugging trees a lot, <laughs> but it's just really nice. It's like, if you can't hug a tree, like if the weather is good, you could also just like stand barefoot in the grass or something like that. I don't know. I hear people in the New Age community talk about like different something about like electrons and I don't know. I, I, I don't understand that element of it. All I know is that I feel nice when I hug a tree. <laughs> it's uh, definitely very grounding because you're like feeling something so it's bringing you in the present moment and also it's just like I don't know, it's like relaxing. Like trees are so strong, you know? They can hold you. You can just lean on them and take a little nap. Whatever you need to do. That's between you and the Lord and the tree. <laughs> Number seven, shake it off. This one I learned while I was doing a Qigong class and it was kind of part of the warm-up, so I don't know if this is even Qigong or if this is just like um, some random thing, but I found it was like really nice. It was just like, it seems kind of stupid, but just kind of like shaking your body out. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like it kind of like releases some of the energy and it also feels like stupid and weird. And I find there's something about doing things that are stupid that like are very distracting. So even if you don't want to shake it off, if you just want to like even, <laughs> <laughs> make some like embarrassing facial expressions or something that's gonna like make you laugh or something um, Yeah, definitely worth a shot number eight touch yourself and Not like that. Okay, you pervert. Just kidding. Masturbation is um, Healthy and normal, but that is not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about any just touching your own body. And one of the things my therapist taught me is doing this, tapping on each arm, because not only are you touching your body, but there's something that calibrates you in terms of like your right hand being on your left arm and your left arm being on your right. Oh, I said that all wrong. It's like some, it's like, com like it's like balancing your left and your right side of your body together. So just doing this. Number nine, bounce around. So, I spend many hours a week on my computer, as probably many of you do, and I find like staring at a screen for a long time will sometimes like kind of like trigger some kind of dissociation. And I don't like sitting in office chairs for some reason, like 
I think I'm just kind of an antsy person. Like I always need to be moving. So like I like sitting on a balance ball because then I can just kind of like <laughs> roll around all day and like fidget and whatever. And sometimes when I get like really dissociated, I'll just like, start like <laughs> bouncing from the ball. <laughs> and it's honestly like, first of all, it's like kind of fun. <sighs> and when I do it, like, and you can kind of, I really like to kind of go for it. <laughs> <I'll>, <sighs> when I do it, it's like, it gets the blood flowing and I'm like, I feel like more like I'm like, ugh, I'm back in the room. I'm ready to get back to my favorite activity, basically. Staring at my own face. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I just like editing, but I guess it is also nice to edit your own face. No, it's not. It's not actually. It's actually kind of like, it's kind of horrible because it's not like I look at it and I'm like, wow, Dale, he looks so great. This is so amazing. It's more like you're picking out your flaws and uh, it's like staring at a monster. And anyway, it's actually quite horrific, but the editing part is very fun. And um, anyway, so I'm going to get back to <laughs> doing that now. I'm just going to bounce over. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and tip number 10, go stand outside for a sec. I sometimes will just like, because there's a difference in air, especially this time of year when your windows are probably all closed and whatever. When I go outside, it's like, you know, you get like this fresh air and just like breathing the fresh air for a second is like kind of engages the senses. Okay, so those are my 10 uh, grounding tips. Thank you to Saba Wolf for this amazing song. The song is off of an album that's coming out in uh, towards the end of December. Uh, so follow them on Instagram at Saba Wolf Child and I have all their other links in the description and um, yeah, you can check out the music they have online already, but there'll also be some stuff, a uh, new album on December 20th. Um, Emma's an amazing artist. Her voice is so incredible. Um, yeah, I highly recommend. And yeah, I guess thanks for watching. Uh, make an offering to Lady Algorithm by liking, sharing, subscribing, notification bell, blah blah blahs, and yeah, I uh, hope you take good care in these strange times, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye from me and my tree. <laughs>